hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is faith and today guys i'll be checking out candice owens shares relationship advice and politics in church you guys i'm super excited as always if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what candice owens has for us in this video Hi, Candice. I love your show. What advice do you have for keeping a marriage healthy and strong? What works for you and George? Oh, I love this question. That is from Elizabeth Ann from Alabama. Um, first and foremost, uh, we are very good about setting time for us. I think it's one of those things that parents kind of forget, especially when you have children. Uh, you know, we insist on having dinner with one another, even if we're in a rush and we can't actually make dinner, which I think is really important. We will go out and sit down and have dinner together. Uh, another thing is we set a habit uh, of getting up in the morning and going to get coffee together. If you set things as a routine, whether it's, you know, a meal time, you say, okay, we're always going to do a coffee run together and have coffee. We're going to make sure that no matter what, we always have dinner together. I just think it helps. Um, I know that a lot of people I speak to go, oh, you're in the first couple of years of your marriage. So you're in the honeymoon phase. Uh, but I think the point is to lengthen the honeymoon phase by making sure that you're always putting each other first. And for me, despite everything that I do and everything that I have going on, my family is always first in my life. Take a vacation. We're doing that mm. coming up uh, up next because there's nothing like family time. And you'll be surprised at how much it just resets you um, when you make sure that your business every day is your family first. I hope you're enjoying the show so far, and I'm afraid to say it, but at this very moment, it is likely if you are using the internet that somebody is tracking your information, taking your data and stealing it, because that is what happens. Actually, being in private mode does not help. It doesn't matter what browser mode you use or how often you clear your browsing history, your internet service provider, your ISP, can see every single website you've ever visited, and they can even sell that data to advertisers. How horrifying is that? That's why I use ExpressVPN to keep my online data secure and private. ExpressVPN makes sure your ISP and third-party trackers can't see your online activity and location, and it does that by rerouting your connection through a secure, encrypted server. In fact, ExpressVPN protects all your data regardless of whether you use incognito mode. ExpressVPN has you covered with easy-to-use apps for computers and mobile devices, so you can use the internet in confidence. All you have to do is tap one button. If you're like me and you're bad at tech, it makes it super simple. One button, hit it, you're protected. ExpressVPN is also the fastest and most trusted VPN on the market. That's why they're rated the number one VPN by CNET and Wired. And it's so important, you guys, protect your online activity today with the VPN that I trust to keep me private. Visit expressvpn.com slash Candice you can get an extra three months free on a one year package. That's expressvpn.com slash Candice to learn more. Do you think politics should be discussed in church? And if so, how specifically? Down to current events or just general topics such as government, abortion, etc.? cetera? Um, I am a big believer that what should be discussed in church is the Bible. Call me old school again. I, I must sound like a dinosaur. Uh, things went very sideways when people started believing that churches um, have a responsibility to take strong political topics. And of course, I know people uh, that attend churches and the churches are conservatives. So you're inclined to say it's so great that they're talking about topics. Um, but then if you're going to talk about the topics from a conservative perspective, then you can't knock churches when they talk about topics from a socialist or a leftist perspective. So I think what really needs to happen is if you teach the Bible, you'll find that the Bible is already taking quite a conservative perspective and you don't need to uh, reinforce enforce it by taking topics of the day. I'm really passionately against it primarily uh, because, as many of you know, Margaret Sanger, the founder of Planned Parenthood, I wrote about her in my book, uh, she actually... You guys, I agree with what Candice Owens said here because politics should not be discussed in the house of God. Political topics should be addressed in political meetings because you can go to a political meeting and see them discussing the bible that is not a place to discuss the bible and i agree with everything Candice owen said here let me know your thoughts on this from you guys and 
Let's wrap this video up. Was a super crafty and avowed racist and eugenicist, and she realized that a great way to get black people to kill off their own offspring via Planned Parenthood was if she taught, if she got the ministers of their churches uh, to take a political stance on it and to tell them that abortion was good. She actually wrote this in a letter, so you can actually read it. It was a letter that she wrote to Dr. Clarence Gamble, where she specifically says um, that we don't want word to get out that we want to exterminate black people. Um, and we need to make sure that we develop a relationship with their ministers, I'm paraphrasing, because they trust their ministers. And I think because uh, people are aware now of the relationship that people have, the spiritual connection that they have uh, with the church, with their ministers, with their pastors, with Christ, it opens the doorway um, for any person that has uh, nefarious um, in instincts to go to that person and to make them preach the wrong word. So the best way to avoid it is to cut it out altogether, just teach the Bible, and that'll convert any person into a conservative over time. That's true. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Candace. If you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel and ring the bell to get notifications on new videos. To watch or listen to the full show, become a member at dailywire.com slash subscribe. You guys, that was such a brief but very interesting one from Candace Owens. And she really spoke nothing but the truth in this video. And let me know your thoughts on what Candace Owens said. Do you agree with her or... You are totally against it. Do you think that political issues should be discussed in church or it should be left out of the house of God totally? Leave your comments in the comment section and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.